Hello and welcome to another episode of Poor Place TIS 100. So, with the last one was Exposure Mask Viewer, we're now on to Histogram Viewer. Oh, mountains, very nice. So, what's needed here is draw, read a value from in, draw a line that many units long to the right of the previously drawn line. So, basically, we're graphing this set of numbers here um, vertically. So um, what that means, I think, is the trick we've been using before of like print of going longer after going an X and Y position on the screen won't work because that only goes horizontally. So each dot on this on this image is gonna have to be put there individually. So, um, in this box here, what I'm going to do is imagine I'm taking in the x and the y value. And I'm going to, let's pretend I can take the x value from the left. So move left down. And let's say this guy is going to give me the y value. But I would like the y value from the bottom bottom um corner not the top corner because it'll just make life a little bit easier if i do it here so let's imagine that if it sends me a zero i want to send down an 18 and if it sends me down an 18 i want to send down a zero it is it really is that simple so to do that um let's move 18 to the accumulator and subtract what's coming in up let's move that down And then we need to move a three down, which is the color of white. And then move a minus one up, move three down. And then a move a minus one down. So this box just takes an X and a Y, X from here, Y from there, and plots it, but it's plotting it um, basically upside down. The, the way we normally, the way a mathematician or in school or wherever, um, you would like to normally plot a graph with zero, 0, being this bottom left corner, not the top left, which is silly computer speak. Right, so we're getting a number in here. So the only thing we're getting in is each individual number needs to be graphed. So move up right, move left down. Now, I move up to the accumulator. So this box here is going to generate the x values. So it needs to know how many of them. So I'm going to move the accumulator left. So it's going to get a, this number, even though like it's an 8, it's going to be a count. So, And this box's job will also be to remember what current column it's in. So it's, accumulator starts with 0, so we presume at the top of this loop, column is in accumulator just to remember that so whatever's in there is my current column to use so basically whatever number is in the accumulator i need to send that down this number of times that's so like if 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 this call if this row is the first one's eight fine i'm gonna have to plot eight points so i'm gonna need x i'm gonna need eight X coordinates, which in this case happen to be zero cents. So, the, so I'm going to need eight zeros, each to match with a Y as it comes up like that or down, depending on which way you want to send it. And then it's become a, a one, find out how many ones there are. Oh, we have 10 of them. So then its job would be to send down 10 ones. It'll then say, right, I've done that. It's going to get another number. Well, it's going to be another 10. It'll send down another 10 ones. So, so that's roughly what I'm thinking of doing in this box. So that said, um, so the current column number is in the accumulator. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to move um, right to the accumulator. I've got a loop here. Jump on, jump, because this is what I normally do. Jump on equal to zero, end. And down the bottom, put end. So I have... a number in the accumulator which is in effect the count 
of I still need to go and in the backup is the number I need to be sending down. So I need to send it down. So swap, move accumulator down, swap again. Now I'm back to the number in the accumulator is my count. Subtract one from it and jump to L. So basically this should keep using both the backup and the accumulator, switching in between them, moving the, whatever's in the backup down to here and jump to it. And this here should be right. So when I get to here, I get, so I'm leaving it here with the count, which then it's the one it's comparing to zero there. When I get to the end, I need to swap it again. So I need to now get to my, um, the value in the backup, which is currently holding the column and add one. And then that'll fall back up. Column is in the accumulator, which is what I want at the top of this loop. It'll save it, then move the new value in there, jump swap, so hopefully that works. So again, what this job is to do is to remember the current column, and when we get a number in, send that column down that number of times. So to basically move up right. So we've sent that down. So now I need to put a loop here. I do want to send down zero. I don't want to, don't want to stop before I send it down. So I'll put the loop here. So I've moved accumulator to the left. I can send down these values zero because this box here should correct them and put them the other way that the graphs would be going like that. Um, so I should just be able to move accumulator down. Should be sending the Y value down. Subtract one. And jump back to L or jump on less than zero end and then end Well, really, nothing needs to happen. Jump on less than zero. We can go back to the start, I believe. I don't think I need to reset anything. At the end of the loop. Okay. It drew one of them. But we're stopped. I still find it quite hard to read this and figure out. Move right to the accumulator. Just I feel there's something going wrong in this box. So it gets its initial eight, which is right. And then sends down at six. Each time it's sending down is there, four, three. Two. Subtracts so one, gets to zero. Jump in equal to zero, end. Got a one now. And 
and we never get Never get Ziff as if I sent one too many down. Yes, that does look better. Yes, I'd sent one too many, and it was a mismatch because this only works if if. He gets exactly the same number in from both sides. Yep, and it's running away. Good over there. And it's done. Brilliant. Um, not really looking at this, so continue editing. Continue editing, should I say? Yes. So this was histogram viewer. Um, it's interesting. It's, it's clever. Um, you know, when you look at it, you think, oh, how am I going to do this? But you know, like this technique of this guy just takes an X and a Y in. That's all it has to deal with, and then it's also responsible for doing this eight, so that this one doesn't have to sort of have a count from you know whatever that number would be eight eight ten to eighteen and nowhere to stop it can always count down to zero from from the value it's got um this one goes this way this goes this way and everything else is simple okay thank you very much for watching this video um if you liked it please do drop a like on it if you like what you see please do subscribe to this channel i'm currently playing this and infinity factory but i've got other few games lined up which i'd like to do playthroughs of including factorio and well there are other ones but um so anyway thanks again for watching bye now